Good morning, guys. Hello. <laughs> it's Saturday, which means we are on our way to the farmer's market as usual. As you guys saw, we do have something else to talk about today, but first things first, we've got to go to the farmer's market. So he has a very appropriate outfit on for the farmer's market today. He's got carrots and beets on his little onesie. He's ready to go. So we're actually going to a different farmer's market today. This is the first weekend it's open, so I'm a little nervous that it's going to be busy, but we'll wear our masks in and we'll be safe, don't worry. And we're still going early. Yeah, and we're still going early. All ready to go. <laughs> Just got home from the market. Gosh. We got the best smelling strawberries in the entire world. Oh my goodness, we need to eat these. Look how red they are. Fresh strawberries are the best. We usually go strawberry picking, but don't even know if that's gonna happen this year because COVID, I don't know if they're gonna have any picking of anything. Yeah. We didn't get too much today. No, just little stuff. And it's, there's just, there's not as many vendors at the markets either. No, not at all. Baby cucumbers. That was instead of pickles this time. We can put them in the pickle juice though. Taco seasoning. Taco seasoning. Locally made. Mm. And salsa. The freshest salsa ever. It's so delicious. That's it. And we weren't actually even allowed to bring our own bags, so we have a bunch of other bags. Now. It's hot out today. We didn't rock around for that long, but I was a sweaty mess. It's so hot. So I'm gonna go ahead and feed him, have some lunch, and then we'll tell you about our plans. The baby's asleep. I think we have a couple minutes to talk about why we might be moving. Are we moving? That's a big question. So we've been talking a lot recently. There's a, quite a few reasons why we are considering finding a new house. One of the biggest ones is that we want a bit more land. So you guys have seen our backyard in other videos. That's not huge by any means. And it's on a slant. So a lot of the space back there isn't quite usable. For like a place that is really what right. she means. Right. We want to be able to put some kind of a playground or something out there for both Paxton and whatever other kids we have. At least one more. <laughs> but our dogs are also in their later life. They're 11 and 13. And we want them to be able to have more space to roam around too. And we kind of knew that coming into buying this house, it's the mm -hmm. one thing, like, when you're going to buy a house, you have to compromise somewhere. Like, for most people, it is not possible to get all your wants, also for the price that you're willing to pay. Right. Like, right. It, it's, you, right. you always have something that, you know, your wants are always a little bit more, especially in terms of buying a house. Right. So, when we bought this house, we went for the house that we really liked, we fixed it up, we pretty much made it what we wanted it to be, but we still don't have the land that we've always wanted. Now the question is, <laughs> how much land do we want? Question? Yeah, <laughs> like, do we want it? Do we want just a little more, where we can get like a quarter of an acre or half an acre? I'd say half an acre. An acre? Do we want five just. acres? Or there's this house that we found that's for a great price, and it's like twenty-five acres. But then the house is not so great. <laughs> but we could have four wheelers and dirt bikes and just like go run around and play. And four wheelers make me nervous. She, she busted her ankle on a four-wheeler a while yeah. back, but... I fractured my ankle that resulted in, what, three more surgeries? Three surgeries, yeah. And it's still kind of messed up. It's, yeah, it's still real messed up. But that's besides the point. So we're trying to figure out, yes, we want some more land. We want to be able to put a place it up. We want room for the dogs and the kids to run around. We also want some privacy back there, at least yeah. a little bit. Even if it's just, like, I want to lay out my bathing suit. And not have the neighbors, I don't need like, my neighbors, staring. like, staring in at me. <laughs> And I mean, part of that also comes from, this is the first year, the first year we moved in, I was mowing the lawn in shorts and a sports bra. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I was in the front, front, I was finishing mowing the front yard, and a lady driving by said, you know, it's blah, blah, blah time, and kids are about to get off the bus. You need to put a shirt on. You need, yeah. I was like, what? Like, Why? <laughs> I mean, it's not like it was anything crazy. It was literally just like a typical a sports bra. A regular sports bra. Not like a, yeah, not like a fancy sports bra where it's like 
you know, nothing like that. Like, my mind was just blowing. And I'm like, yeah. I, I need to be able to mow my... Listen, <laughs> there's only so much time when I want to get sun and I want to get tan. So if I'm going to mow the lawn, I better be able to do both. Yep. If I'm going to work yep. in the yard, like, I want to be able to do both. Like, yep. guys work in the yard without their shirts on all the time. I covered my boobs. Another reason that we're really kind of hesitant to move is because we really like our neighborhood, aside from that one instance. We were really fortunate to get some really, really good neighbors. and The best. They're now moving, and then some of the other people we really liked in the neighborhood are moving, so that just makes it even more reason for us to kind of go and start somewhere else. We're really sad. Has anybody else been in that predicament? Where it's like, y you move into a neighborhood, you really like the people that have been around you, and all this, and then they move and you're like, well... <laughs> Guess it's time for us to go too. <laughs> like that sounds ridiculous. Obviously, I don't know what it's like as a straight couple. Like I, I don't yeah. know, you know. Right. But as a same-sex couple, we looked for a year and a half for not only a house we liked and that we could make like what we wanted in our own, mm -hmm. but a neighborhood where we would we felt that we would feel comfortable. We could walk down the street and hold hands, right, and be okay with that. Mm -hmm. And we've never, ever, ever in this neighborhood gotten any kind of bad look or mm -hmm. bad words or anything about us being together. In terms of neighbors, like just incredible. Some of the kindest people. Kindest, yeah, yeah. That you could ever imagine in your life. Like, mind-blowing. It's hard, I think, to want to move somewhere because we don't know what we're going to be met with, you know? And I'm sure we have other, you know, same-sex couples that follow us that have been in the same kind of predicament. It's just something that you really got to think about. And I mean, maybe you don't. Maybe you just move and... And you hope for the best. Yeah. And you deal with it. But the other thing that we really want, as you guys know, we spend a ton of time in the kitchen. All of our time, pretty much. <laughs> we don't eat out very often. We are, you know, constantly cooking or baking or, you know, prepping or doing something. So one of the other big ones for us is a nice, nice size kitchen that's open. And so that, like, as our kids get older, they can help us cook and we can, you know, put a stool up there for them to help, you know... Yeah. chop veggies or mix cookie batter or whatever. We are very grateful for what we yes. have. But we kind of just want to test the waters and see what's out there. So later today, we're going to go to some look at some houses. houses. We're going to try to take you guys with us. Hopefully they let us in with the camera. If not, we'll see. <laughs> like how it's split up. Yeah, instead of how we were talking about before, like we were looking at some of those and it's like you have the dining room, the office, and then you have another. Yeah. You don't need all the eating spaces. Oh wow, that's bigger than our closet. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pink. I liked the inside, but the yard was not. The yard I don't think is much bigger than ours now. I don't think it is, and it has that same It's like, got like a drainage. But just like we have that too right behind our fence. We're gonna keep looking. We have, I think, well, at least one more to go to today, right? At least one more, yeah, yeah. All right, let's go. Master, it's pretty big. Oh wow, there's like a hidden room back here. That's interesting. There's a 
closet. It's a room in a room. <laughs> I guess I'm going feel like a nursery. Or an office. Is that what you think, packed? Pretty good closet. yesterday was not quite what we were looking for it, yeah, it was smelled bad. like cat pee yeah the whole house did the whole house and she's allergic to cats i could tell the minute i walked in oh yeah. yeah and then you walked into the basement and it was even worse so we're gonna go see probably just one more today one more and just maybe get some ideas we just need yeah. to keep looking i think again Our reminder months. it did take us a year and a half to find the house we're in though right right we're a little indecisive and picky. picky. Maybe we're picky. picky. We're just picky. We want what we want. And if we, if we can't find that, we want to make it what we want. Here's another one. Probably the last one we'll go to. Yeah. Probably the last Well, definitely for this weekend. Yeah. What do you think? No? I like our house better. <laughs> I 100% want more than a quarter acre. What well, do you think? It's not my favorite. Yeah. It didn't feel bigger than our house at all. I think the square footage is just because the basement is finished, where ours is not. Oh. I think that's like the only difference in square footage. Which, like I said, we don't need a ton more space inside at all. But the backyard was also, it didn't seem at all bigger than ours. Yeah, even though it, like uh, the listing said it was. Like I said, we're not in any rush necessarily. We just gotta get our ducks in a row and keep looking, I guess. Yeah. And who knows? Maybe maybe we won't even stay in Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe, maybe. You never know. We gotta see what happens. We have some things to figure out first. <laughs> if you guys like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Otherwise, we'll see you guys later. See you in the next video. Bye.